Did you know that Unreal has a built-in system for adding camera shakes to your gameplay? It's quite simple, it's quite good, and let's take a look at it. Because it's as simple as making a new blueprint class and looking for the camera shake base. We have a default camera shake base and a legacy one. We're going to be using uh, either the camera shake base or the default camera shake base will do. And we'll make a blueprint off of that called BP Light Cam Shake. Opening that up, we get an event graph and there's nothing in here. There's no begin play, there's no tick, there's really nothing that you can do with this event graph at all. So instead, we want to go up to the class defaults here. And here we can say what shake pattern we want. There's a couple of different ones. Uh, composite camera shake pattern, a pearl noise pattern, sequence camera shake pattern, or a wave oscillator shake camera. Generally, for most of your camera shakes, you're going to be using the pearl and noise one. Pearl and noise is a random function that does smoothly interpolate between its random values. So it's not going to be glitching all over the place, but it's also not going to be just moving back and forth in a wave pattern. Then when we expand that, we can shake the location. We have an X, Y, and Z amplitude there. So let's say we want to really move the camera up and down a lot. We can set this to 10. And we want it to move uh, side to side and front to back a little less. So let's set this to 5 and 3. That's the amplitude, and then of course we have the frequency, so let's say we do the inverse there, so we uh, set the frequency at the X pretty high, then we set it to 3 and 2 for these ones. I think this is not going to look great, but just as an example. Then we have a total multiplier for the amplitude and frequency, so these are just the proportions relative to each axis and then this is the amplitude itself so we can say the amplitude multiplied by 10 and that will make this 150 and 3 instead and we pretty much have the same thing going on here for the rotation that said do be a little bit careful about adding rotation to your shake because things can get very messy very very quickly for demonstration purposes though, let's add a 15 amplitude and 2 frequency. And then we can even shake, for lack of a better term, the FOV. So the field of view of your camera, how zoomed in it is. We can change that as well. So let's say we want to change that with an amplitude of 10, which is, I believe, in degrees of field of view. So 10 is quite a lot, with a frequency of 3. Those are all the properties that we can shake or wiggle or whatever you want to call it. Then we have the timing. So this is how long the shake takes. And we have some properties for blending in and blending out as well. So we can say the blend in should be really short and then the blend out should be much longer. And the shake is going to last for two seconds in total. So it's going to be a quite heavy impact at first then it's going to keep going for a while and then it's smoothly relatively slowly going to blend out back into the normal camera all this information is now stored on this blueprint but how do we actually activate the camera shake well you can do that in other actors with other blueprints and whatever what we're going to do is we're going to add a trigger volume here just in the level itself again what we're going to do here which will be in the level blueprint you can easily replicate this in any blueprint you want so let's open up our level blueprints here and then on actor begin overlap what we'll do is we'll get the other overlapped actor and we will uh, just simply cast that to our bp third person character because that way we can get the controller of the pawn and when we have the controller we can say cast to player controller an easier way to get this done by the way would just be uh, using get player controller this is a slightly more foolproof way if you want things to also like be replicated and work uh, in multiplayer and that kind of stuff and here in the player controller we can client start camera shake 
uh, or we can start camera shake from source and we can stop camera shake or stop it from source we're just going to start the camera shake and it is important that this is specifically stated to be client start camera shake this is something that is done on the client and not through the server so because there's no reason to replicate the information that another player's camera is shaking right now there's no reason that other players should know that so again for multiplayer purposes that is relevant to be aware of for right now i'm just going to make this much easier on you and we'll just get player controller and just immediately hook this up this way because we're not making a multiplayer game and here we can select a shake class so we'll select the bp light cam shake i don't think it's going to be a light shake at all and here we even get another scale value so we could even say that whatever stuff we put into that blueprint for all of the axes and all of the rotation and stuff i'll just multiply all that by two and it will be even more intense i think it's quite intense enough with the values that we gave it and as easily as that if i now run into this we'll see we get a quite intense camera shake which eventually fades back in to our normal camera and of course you can do a bunch of interesting stuff uh with this we can like promote this to a variable make it into an array for instance and just doing some weird random stuff uh but we can in that array we can uh get a random array item out of that and now it will play uh one of a number of different random camera shakes that we can set we have the details panel over here we can add a couple of different elements and now we can say our light camera shake and let's make uh a heavy camera shake which will probably rotate a little bit less but i think the location shake for this is going to be more and it's going to be even more focused on up and down movements and it will be slightly shorter add that one in there as well and now it picks one at random from this array from the list that we've just made so we can go through here we can see it's definitely the heavy camera shake if we go through again that was the weaker camera shake and so on and so forth you can do a lot of interesting and fun stuff with this it's one of the major upsides of unreal engine it has a bunch of these little features that just work and you don't have to worry about it just gives it to you and a very big thank you to all of my patreons you can see them on screen right now if you want to help out supporting the channel there's a link down below in the description to the patreon page and a special thanks to my cave digger tier patrons, Sergey Thomas, 